bullet is fired vertically at 400 meters per second. Um, how high does it go? And how long is in there? Yep, so he's going to shoot, shoot a bullet straight upwards, leave the gun at 400 meters per second. And the question is, how high does it go in the air? And how long before it comes back to the ground? Assuming we're firing it from ground level. So it might be a you know, meter or two out if they're holding it. Assuming we're firing it from ground level. Or just call the top of the gun zero. Mother of all things. So this is the speed that comes out of the, out of the end of the gun, and we're, and we're ignoring air resistance and, and all those other things. You've got an app that does all this, have you? Now you've got Wolf from Alpha. Yes, and we'll definitely do it all, yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, do you know what the, you got the answer ready? Good stuff. No, it's awesome. Okay, um, so checking the units. You happy with the units? Meters per second. I should have stuck with Nathan's feet for a second. Then we could have could have changed it. But so meters per second is good. Okay, three things. What three things have I got? <coughs> so what's acceleration in this case? Negative nine point eight one. Okay, I'm happy with that. So we're going to call it up. We're going to call up positive. So acceleration is coming down. So in the previous example, we called down positive. So we were dropping it and the speed was going down. And we said acceleration was pulling it down. It's positive. So here we've effectively called up positive. And last time I checked, gravity was working down. So acceleration is, is against that, so it's negative. Right then, yep. Check it quite frequently. It freaks me out that it might turn around one day. Um, okay, so we've got uh, acceleration is negative 9.81. That's one thing. What else have I got? Switch velocity. Initial velocity is 400 meters per second. Still only two things. What's the third thing? Final velocity, what's the final velocity? Zero, why? Right, this time it does stop. So at the top, it stops. So if you watch the watch the pen, right at the very top, it stops. There's a point up here where it stops. So it goes up and stops and turns it comes back down again. So at the top, so we're just doing the, the one way, the motion, the up motion, we're gonna have the velocity equal zero at the top. That's one of the sort of things you need to be able to think of. What is the third thing I need? If you don't have three, you're struggling. That is three now, so we're good to go now. But without that, you're going to struggle to use the formula. So somewhere on the line, you've got to say, what's that extra bit of information? So in this case, where it stops at the top, and we're trying to find, oh, we're trying to find both the other things, how high it goes and how long it's up there for. Okay, so which one, which formula do you want to use for the first bit to find the distance? But we don't know what T is. I don't know T. So trying to use that one without T is going to be a bit, bit tricky. So that's still got a T in it. The third one. So the third one at least hasn't got a T in it. The third one's got V's, U's, and A's. V's, U's, and A's. So we've got the numbers for the third one. So the other one, this has to be the third one. All the others have got T in them. 
in this case, we don't know T, we're not trying to find T yet, so we have to use the squared one. So we're going to go with uh, V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. You could do the question the other order, maybe. You could say, let's find out T first. Um, so you could have used a uh, top formula to work out T and then another formula to work out S. That might have been a better way to do it. But here we're trying to find S. So rearrange this formula, you get S by itself. S is V squared minus U squared divided by 2A. Bit of algebra there, nothing too tricky. Uh, so what, V is 0. U is 400, 2 times 9.81 equals something that someone's going to give us here. What have we got? Uh, ooh, well done, negatives. And then those two negatives are going to cancel out. We're going to have a positive number, which is 81. Got 8154. And the unit for that's going to be. So we're talking eight kilometres. Is that eight k's? Sound about right? Again, there's no 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 air resistance, which would actually change the story here a bit. But okay. Cool. Yeah, so the air resistance will make the difference. <laughs> nice and breathing in the hobby. Yep. Okay. So that's we can do that. So the same pro exactly the same process as previously, and now we can go and figure out. Um, the time. So which formula do you want to use for time? One that has 10 in it, very good. Which one would you choose? I'd probably choose the top one. It doesn't rely on my calculation of S being any good, and it's usually the simplest one if you get the choice. So V equals U plus AT, rearrange. T is V minus U divided by A. V is 0 minus 400 divided by negative 9.81, which is about 40 something seconds. Did you want to do the calculation for me? 40.8 before that. Step seven, read the question. Have you actually answered the question that was asked, or have you read what you assumed was being asked? So read that question and check out, have we actually answered what, are, what we asked for? Do you believe so? No, why not? Why, why have we... How long is it in the air? This is the time to get to the top, not to come back down again. Okay, so that's only half the, half the story. So time in the air is twice that. Once up and once down. So again, ignore the air resistance and all that sort of stuff because it starts to fall, you'll get terminal velocity. Um, but if we ignore the air resistance, then it will take exactly the same time to come down as it took to go up. So that's double that number. <laughs> 